Diana Lonich and I'm playing Sebastian. I get to wear a costume and then I get to dance and sing. The hardest part I think is realizing that at the beginning you're like, oh, it's oh, the play's oh so far away. And then realizing when it's two weeks away. So like, and you barely know your lines. Actually, uh, my first year doing Con Area play was in third grade and I played Chip in Beauty and the Beast. And I had a big, like a flower pot. And so I was backstage trying to get the other side of the stage, okay? And there was one of the sets and it was a big piece of styrofoam. So, and I tripped and I broke it. So, and, I, and then, um, someone, they go, they go, it's fine, there's only one seed left with it. I'm like, no, it isn't, I broke the set. I start trying to practice my lines and highlight all of them so I know exactly where I am. You have to be organized in order to know what scene you're in, what your lines are, what songs you're in, what dances you're in, and all that other stuff and you have to be organized like backstage or else no one can get through and no one can like go out so you have to know your scenes or else you're not going to be on stage My name is Susan Uhazy Camille, and I am the director of Con Area Catholic's Performing Arts Program. My first involvement with the program was as a parent volunteer. My daughter came to Con Area Catholic as a fifth grade student, and she auditioned and was cast in uh, the production that year. It was No Strings Attached. And so I was one of those parents who came to the rehearsals made sure that kids were doing their homework when they had some downtime, uh, made sure that parents were picking their kids up at the right doors, things that we rely on our parent volunteers to do today. And I did that for a couple of years, and then I received a telephone call from Mrs. Solon, our principal, and she asked me if I would be interested in directing a musical. I'm not a professional performer, and I have no professional performance background. So my response to her was, you must be desperate. And I then had a discussion with her uh, that had to do mostly with my role as a social worker and now as an educator. And she felt that I had some skills to bring to the position. And so I checked in with some good friends and um, one of my mentors, Mr. Merle Stutzman, and his wife, Sandy. And with their encouragement, I just took the leap and decided to go ahead and direct the production. The first production was Honk Jr. And I have now directed six productions. This is my seventh. And our show this year is The Little Mermaid Jr. Some things that stand out for me as a director. I'm struck by the generosity of the Con Area Catholic learning and faith communities. It seems if we need something for a production, we check in with maybe somebody who has a business who would be able to supply a certain prop for us. And we are always told yes. We can only do what we do and not charge a fee because of the generosity of our community. My hope is that the children who participate can, in the years ahead, look back and have fond memories of a very positive after-school experience. And along the way, we are so fortunate because we end up doing a pretty good show. So I would encourage you on the weekend of March 10th and 11th, 2018, to 
Mark your calendar and please come and enjoy seeing our production of The Little Mermaid Junior. I'm Jenny Johnson. I play the music and sound and do the music cues. Um, I help with props. Um, just whatever is needed to be done. <laughs> I think Connor is very lucky to even have something like this at school. So just in seeing the kids being involved in this and all their talents. It's a family, family environment. Um, everybody's just so encouraging and it's just a good support system. I'm Nikki Halonich. I uh, coordinate the parent volunteers so that we have um, people to help with the rehearsals so the kids are safe. Both of my girls are performers and have been performing. Um, like I said, my oldest is 13 and she's been performing since she was three. So for us to have an opportunity for them to perform and have a creative outlet is really an amazing opportunity especially at the elementary level. You know, our first show was in the auditorium at the old Connery Catholic building. We were on the third floor, so it wasn't accessible for everyone. There were family members who couldn't get there. Um, and we had to use folding chairs to seat people. And at the time, I think we could fit a max of about 160 in there. So, um, and that was crowded with standing room. So, it was just an, a wonderful opportunity for the kids and to think now that we perform on a stage that holds much larger productions in a, in a theater that especially as beautiful as the Porter is now because the first year we were there it was not <laughs> rehabbed <laughs> and um, it was a little different so it's just amazing to think back to all the changes that have happened and what it has become. It's just so amazing when new people come and see what these kids can do. And that they're fourth, fifth, and sixth graders primarily. We have some third graders joining us this year, but the backstage work is all elementary school kids. We have junior, senior high production staff who do the main, the big parts backstage. And we have a couple parents who stand there to make sure that no one is pulling each other's hair. Um, <laughs> but basically, that's our job, is just to say, you know, the mics are on, you have to be quiet, or, you know, someone's reading lines, you have to be quiet. But these kids run this whole thing, and it's just, it's such a community builder. And that's, that's why it's amazing that it keeps going on. All right, um, uh, my name is Christian Dennison and I play the part as Chef Louis, a French, a French chef who likes to eat, whose favorite food is fish, all kinds. You named it, he makes it. I've been going in and practicing on my French accent. Um, would you mind if I could give you a little taste of it? Attention, attention, the menu plus a swap, escargot, lobster bisque, tuna tartar.
My name is Audra Holonich, and I am the stage right stage manager. So I work the curtain and I do cues and I help with the lighting and the other stage manager on stage left. I would have to say my most favorite thing is seeing the kids be happy about doing something that they love. And it's, it's, it's so amazing to see them do it and have so much fun. And I love working with them and I love helping them with their stage presence and their singing and because I've had some experience and they want to learn about it and it's it's just so much fun for me. <laughs> when I was in fourth grade, I didn't really know that I could sing or that I could act. So it was a little bit like I was doing it just because I didn't know if I could. But um, I think now it's a lot different for them because they've had more, um, they've been more open to it and more open to the option of it. Um, and I think it's cooler now than it was when I was in fourth grade to be in the performing arts program. So that's, yeah, fourth grade was... <laughs> they work together to help each other with something that they wanted to do and I, I, I it's so cool because they make new friends and they and they make bonds together and it's 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 amazing it's so cute <laughs> if people knew how much these kids loved to do this I mean they're kids and you think they could go home after school and do so many other things than learn dances and songs and stand and learn where they have where their placement is um, and they choose to come and do this because they absolutely love it and they get so much joy out of performing for other people um, everybody would come to see it if they understood that part so that's probably my my favorite thing is seeing how excited the kids get about it